here's another drill that we use to promote a good block by keeping a great angle. So go ahead, Donovan. You can you do this if you're out in the field. You can stick the javelin in the ground at a reasonably good angle. And what this does is promotes you staying back tall with your torso, keeping your hip up, your core involved, and turning your back foot and not just piking. So we use this javelin to promote an angle. And you put young throwers in it, it helps them understand what it takes to pull and finish a javelin without falling apart. The other one is we'll just show you right away is I just hold this up and we, he just meets his hip to the javelin. Block is the front leg. It starts when the front leg hits the ground. Some of the characteristics, slow well, down a little bit. You can, you can hurt yourself. Uh, we're looking for the block leg to be tight. Donovan's doing an exemplary job of keeping it steady. I'll get behind you, buddy. So it's trying to be tight, and what it does is it directs pressure from the ground through your core to the throw. So the block is really our So we're throwing one kilo jabs to get going. One of the technical cues I gave everybody is, you know, we try a lot harder than you think to stay behind the block and finish the throw. <laughs> that looked really clean, and you're rising up. So... What I was advising was not just to get to stop uh, and throw, but um, the other day we were really rigid, so I wanted everybody to loosen up and start following through a little bit more. Ooh. The last thing I want though is to go too far forward. We're avoiding that by, I was expressing how much I wanted them to stand tall at release. See, that's really solid. Do you feel the difference staying up tall like that? Yeah, you're not pulling your left hip back and down. I like that. Nice job, buddy. All right, here, I'll film this one, and then I'll change to another screen. Yeah, excellent. Get there. Oh! So when it comes to training the block, what do we do? We magnify the pressure to the front leg, to the block, by using a bungee cord. Sometimes you can tie it off. We usually have someone hold, put, come back a little bit, put more pressure on. So what, it, what he's feeling is more pressure on the foot. And if you think of the law of uh, physics, for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction. For more pressure at his foot, if he's in the right sequence, he can deliver more pressure in his throat. And not only does this help you throw a little harder in reality, but this also helps you feel how much pressure to put on your throw and keep you stable. Because if he comes off his block now and tries to throw it, it won't even feel trying to do it to go forward. It don't work well. All right, here's a few more characteristics of a proper block. So now we got capers doing it. He's so tall, you might have to back up a little. <laughs> So, a couple things. Hold on a second, keepers. What am I looking for? I want the block to be straight and at a nice angle. I can't tell you exactly the angle. We can talk about that later. What I want his front arm to do is to stay there until he turns his foot and knee in. And what we're looking to have happen is the front stays straight, and now we create the opposite C. So that's part of the blocking process. It's stable while you have an opposite C in your throwing technique. Now finish it off. Hold your arm up top for me and give me the front seat. So the other part of a throw is what you'll see after release is he'll have a front seat. So now the block's job is to maintain stability for the back seat and now all the way through the release for the front seat. So the block is our main factor that the throw is built about. Jacob's pounding. Globes, help him with that thing. It's easier when someone, I think, gets ballistic pullovers on the Kaiser. 1077. 1277 over here. Good, Logan. So we went from ballistic leg work to ballistic pullovers. Boys, I only have four sets today on here. Four sets. I dropped the set so we don't get too beat up. Four sets of eight today. Done. You threw so hard, I don't want to go too many. Mike's ripping it. Good. Stretch and hit. Up. 
instead of prematurely cutting yourself short because you're losing the energy and you're losing yeah. a lot of distance downfield. So that's because if, if you throw your leg to the ground, what happens? You If you throw the leg to the ground, your center of gravity is then shot forward and you don't catch the position. All right, here we go, D. Yeah, that's this really also nice. allows your left foot to get to the ground sooner. Whop.